Welcome to another video uh, on my fish technique infrared um, interfaces which are actually two different ones and if you've seen my previous uh, videos on this series um, this is with joysticks, this is with buttons and here I have also a server motor which is basically um, useless because it's normally used for steering which I don't do and this one is simple uh, infrared for well um, not with servo and I made uh, a little change with this motor which had a very different setup last time but um, I thought to make it equal to this big uh, although uh, it is a very different motor. So um, let's see how everything works out. Battery packs of course in place which I um, intend to uh, change but um, there's a part difficulty and I come back to that um, very soon. So let's see further. Alright, um, a very different view with two cameras, as you can see from, uh, well, one from the perspective of the joystick version, which is partly out of focus, and this one is from the other perspective. Um, let me hook them up. And then things should be working. Should be fully charged batteries. So uh, let me power this one up. And slow down, stop, go the other way. And with this one, um, pressing on. Well, with this light being on, you see here the light, and that is one, that is two, and this one. So that all works, and then uh, still the question is, when I hold the joysticks, does it still stop intermediately? The LED starts blinking here. And uh, last time it did stop. Not so much now. No, it doesn't stop this time. Okay, um, why do I show you it like this? Because of uh, the schematics. This is the, with the small motor. This is with the, uh, the two motors at the moment. And I'm going to adapt it a little bit, this one that is. Because I'm going to add a motor to this one already um, prepared it. So here I have another one with a very big motor, power motor, hooking it up on the small one and that is a motor 2 so I have to apply to motor 2 output and then it just should be working. And it has a very different uh, thing. This is very different, apparently, that this one just goes on and this one doesn't. 
So uh, let me go to the schematics. Uh, this one, and I'll just add it up. Um, or should I put it to motor three? Um, let's test that one. I think that's a nice idea. So, what is the difference? Okay, motor three. Um, which is motor three, uh, only one button, I think. Ah, uh, no, that is just speed. Same thing. It just lets go. Okay, no difference. So, to make it easier on myself. Motor 2, bigger buttons, easier to manage. Which means that I'm going to copy this and paste right here. Um, now that's okay, unfortunate. So I am going to select all this move over here um, select this move over here now it connects this is then M2 and this is power motor and the SM can go And now I have to connect the dots, of course. Okay. M3 without motor and the other two are with motor. So, um, so how does it uh, work out eventually? Um, let's see. So with now four motors applied, uh, five actually, two power motors and a servo motor, a small motor right here, and uh, another power motor. So, um, I was talking about a different setup and, and a part problem. Um, there is a part from Physics Technique which um, distributes power, um, eliminating a battery pack. So, you can have one uh, AC adapter applied to the power distributor and then have like um, uh, put these wires into the sockets of the distributor and you can uh, uh, distribute up to three devices. Um, however, I have been able to find an ordering part for it or an uh, ordering number for it and so it's, uh, it's hard to find out uh, how to order it. Um, if it can be ordered anyway. So I'll have to do with uh, the battery packs for now and let's see how things work out. Now again, um, here uh, LED has gone off, on again, so um, power test again, duration test actually. And then with this one. And that is faster. 
and then you can clear the sheet which is um, Oh really? It stops intermediately while I'm pressing the button. Alright, that's something I haven't noticed before. This is of course the other direction. While this doesn't stop, I should widen the view or bring them closer together so you can see everything. I think that is nicer. Or relocate the camera a little bit, but um, what I also should show is the way this is being dealt with. I hope you can see it. So this motor has, okay, let me stop this. This motor has um, a pump screw, or how do you know, how do you call it in English? Uh, a gearbox. And from in this gearbox you can apply several axles with gears. And so in this case I applied um, an axle like this and with two carbon joints I powered them. And this one is the same is uh, the same setup as this one. So a metal axle um, conversion part, and then again a carbon joint. So, okay. Question: Why isn't it interrupted now? Looks very strange to me. Power up everything. Okay, now is it now it is being interrupted, but why? Oh this is interesting. So when I uh, operate this one, this one goes on pause or is interrupted anyway. Uh, other joystick, same effect. Well, that one just goes on. Interesting. So there's interference. Um, well, infrared is not just one frequency. It is a in, uh, it is a spectrum from low infrared to to high infrared. And don't ask me about exact frequency numbers. I have to look it up. But this is interesting. Um, I didn't expect this. So once again. Um, okay, let it run like this. Okay, two different ways. This motor has to be corrected. Ouch. Okay. Okay, so this is interesting as well. Okay, so just interference anyway. Um, nice idea to show. So, anything to learn? Well, somehow this is now continuous operation instead of interrupted. And there's interference. How long do the battery, battery pack la, uh, last? I don't know. So far, it's nice. 
and with uh, this test I say um, thanks for watching if you like this video please subscribe to my channel give the video a thumbs up leave a comment or suggestion please very much appreciate it you can also follow me via Instagram and Twitter um, please show support by becoming a patron and have your name mentioned or becoming and or becoming a co-producer um, and have your name mentioned um, also, if you don't want to become a patron, you can also um, donate via either PayPal or IBAN. Uh, please see my website for more information um, under this video or in the coming segment. And this is probably going to be continued in some way. For now, have a nice day. Stay safe. Bye-bye.